Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at some early Amazon Prime Day deals. Uh, there's actually three days left until Prime Day. It is that time of year again, but they do release some early deals and I kind of wanted to get these out of the way before we really hit Prime Day. Now, before we get started here, I do want to mention that with a lot of these Prime Day deals, these are on the same sale throughout the year. So don't feel pressure to buy stuff during Prime Day, uh, you know, or even Black Friday. You can definitely find deals like this throughout the year. So if you don't have the cash right now don't feel pressured when you see all of these prime day ads popping up uh, i mean if you really need something and it's got a decent deal then yeah it might be a good time to buy it but if you absolutely don't need it you can skip it you're really not going to miss out on that price cut because they do come throughout the year Obviously, to get access to these Prime Day deals, you will need to be a Prime member. They've got a free 30-day trial right now, and you can go ahead and cancel before the 30 days is up, or, you know, keep it if it's something that you're going to be using. But my wife's already got a Prime subscription because she uses it all the time anyway. So first things first, since it's Amazon Prime Day, Amazon will have deals on all of their Amazon devices. And a lot of this stuff is kind of to move out for this year, making way for the new ones coming out next year. But there are some pretty decent deals here. At the time of making this video for these early Prime Day deals, the 2023 Fire 10 is not on sale, but definitely keep an eye on it if you've been wanting to get one of those at a discount. That will definitely go on sale during Prime Day. But there's a few things that I've picked out here, and personally, I'm not into the Echo stuff, but you know, if that's something you want to get, those are on sale right now. First one here is the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. Now, I would recommend either the Stick 4K or the Ultra. This has got a pretty decent discount, usually 50 bucks coming in at 25. And recently, Microsoft brought their Xbox Cloud Gaming to the Fire Stick. I did a video on it. This only works on the Fire TV Stick 4K Max, the 2023 model, and the Fire TV Stick 4K 2023 model, the one we were just taking a look at, for $25. And one of the big reasons is we've got Wi-Fi 6 built in here. I tested it out, but I actually use the 4K Stick Max, which is the one that I would recommend. Coming in at $10 more on this deal, 34 bucks. I think it's well worth it because it does have Wi-Fi 6E and it is the fastest Fire Stick to be released so far. Better CPU, more RAM, better Wi-Fi. And if you're looking for a cheap device to stream your games to, whether you want to use Steam Link or the new Xbox Cloud Gaming on the Amazon Fire Sticks, then this would definitely be perfect for it. There are other applications that we can sideload here. And along with this, they also have their official Luna wireless controller on sale, coming in at $40. If you've got an Xbox controller, you can always connect that, a PS4 or a PS5 controller. But if you've ever thought about using Amazon Luna service for cloud gaming, this is going to be your best option. And the biggest reason here is this actually connects to the server via Wi-Fi. Very similar to what uh, Google Stadia did. This tremendously cuts down on input latency, so you're not going to have that lag, but you can also connect this to your device via Bluetooth. So you can also use this for other games and apps on the Fire Stick TV, and it'll also work for Android. But yeah, this is usually on sale for 70 bucks, but right now it's $39. Moving down just a bit, the Insignia 50-inch Class 30 4K TV. This is the highest priced item that I put on the list. I know it's definitely a lot more than a hundred bucks right here, but for 189, 50 inch 4K TV with Fire TV built in, I think that this is a pretty good deal. This would work out really well for a bedroom or a game room. And I mean, it's really hard to beat a price like this, even during like, you know, the Super Bowl sales. 50 inch 4K LED for 189. So we just talked about the Amazon Luna controller being on sale, but another controller that I highly recommend for any kind of gaming is the Xbox controller. The Xbox Core Wireless Gaming Controller in Velocity Green is 44. This may go down. You might be able to find the white one for like 35 during uh, Prime Day itself. But right now, at 44 bucks, 27% off, they're usually 60. I usually try to pick up at least one of these every year on Prime Day, and I'm probably going to go with the Velocity Green this year. But again, you know, early, coming in at 44, there's a chance this may drop just a bit more during Prime Day itself. So keep an eye on it if you don't want to spend 44 right now. I also wanted to throw a couple displays into the mix. And with both of the ones that we're going to take a look at, they do support USB Type-C. The first one is the KYY 15.6 inch portable 1080p monitor, HDMI and USB Type-C. It's an IPS panel, and this will work with your mobile phone, whether you've got a Samsung phone or a Motorola that uses Ready4. It'll work for the Steam Deck. Whenever I go on a trip, I usually carry one of these portable monitors, not the KYY version. I actually haven't tested this. But $69 right now, you can apply a $5 coupon, bringing it down to $65. Bucks. 
not bad to have, especially in an emergency or just on a trip itself. If you need a bigger display to get some work done or even game on a bigger display while you're on the go, this would work out perfectly. Going right along with the monitor theme here, while this isn't a portable monitor, this still supports USB Type-C. It's a 24-inch, 100Hz, 1080p display. So you could plug your Steam Deck in, your Android phone, or anything that supports USB Type-C video out. These are ones that I've actually had my eye on for a while. HDMI 1.4, DisplayPort 1.2, USB Type-C with 15 watt charging out. So if you did get this, it would definitely be suited more for, let's say, a phone plugged in. But if you've got a Samsung phone from the Galaxy S8 on up, you could plug it in here and use Samsung DeX on a 24 inch display and still keep that battery topped off. 1001 contrast ratio. 72% NTSC, 99% sRGB. It's actually a pretty thin monitor here. These definitely look great for the price if you need something with a USB Type-C input on it. And finally here, wrapping up these early Prime Day deals, I always look for storage, whether it be micro SD cards or external hard drives. Now this really isn't an early Prime Day deal. These are usually on sale quite a bit from around 57 up to 63. One terabyte micro SD card. It's a UHS 1U3. It's not the fastest card in the world, but I've used this exact card in my Steam Deck now for a very long time, and I've never had an issue with it. And at 57 versus, let's say, 119 for a one terabyte card, this is a pretty decent deal. But keeping up with all of this, if you're in the market for some SD cards during Prime Day, we will get some major deals. I'm not sure if we're going to see one terabyte go under 57. This may be the best deal we see. But if you wanted to hold out for just a little while, just to make sure, you definitely could. And the final thing here on the list is the Lexar 1TB SL500 Portable SSD. Up to 2000 megabytes read, compatible with USB Type-C laptops. It'll work with the iPhone 15. So if you wanted to use ProRes on your iPhone, you could plug this in and use external storage because we know ProRes does take quite a bit of storage. And I think some of those formats only work to external storage. I've got one of these on the way. They're usually $130. I've actually had my eye on them for a while. I usually use the Samsung portable SSDs, but they're a bit slower. Now don't get me wrong. I mean, they do work out really well, but this definitely has a much faster write and read speed than the ones that I've been using. So I figured I'd go ahead and test this out. And going up to two terabytes is really gonna be a bit cheaper than getting two of the one terabyte units. But you know, just checking out the price jump from one to two, to me, I was really hoping that that two terabyte would have more of a price cut. And for what I'm gonna be using this for, one terabyte should be just fine. But yeah, keep an eye out for more storage deals during Prime Day. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this early Prime Day deal video. I just wanted to pick out a few things that I would personally use. I figured some of you might be interested in it too. Again, I'm not really into the Echo stuff, and there's a lot of this stuff on sale, like the Echo Pop, 55% off, Blink Video Doorbell, 50% off. If you need something like that, these Amazon devices will have a pretty steep price cut. But again, a lot of this stuff does go on sale throughout the year, so uh, you know, you're really not going to be missing out on too much. But if you're interested in picking up any of this stuff that I showed off, I'll leave links down below. And like always, thanks for watching.